What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital, and we're here with Francois Morin, Vice President of Corporate and Business Development at First Hydrogen. It's a pleasure to have you on today, Francois. How are you doing? It's my pleasure. I'm going very well. Yes, I'm excited to be talking about the company. So can you start by giving us a quick introduction to First Hydrogen, telling us more about the business and what you look to accomplish? Well, First Hydrogen now is a company that is producing green hydrogen and manufacturing fuel cell zero emission vehicles that are basically uh, targeted at commercial fleet operators. Uh, so right now we are based in Shawinigan in uh, Quebec. We have an office, a head office in uh, Vancouver, and we also have a uh, office in uh, London, UK. So there's two divisions uh, to our uh, first hydrogen. One is the automotive, which is based in UK, basically designs the LCV, the light commercial vehicles, and the energy division that works on the producing hydrogen, which is based in Canada. First Hydrogen is removing adoption barriers for zero emission fleets with its fully integrated green hydrogen centric solution. Could you tell us a little bit more about your technology? So what we're talking about is hydrogen as a service. Uh, so for our customers, fleet operators, we are providing the hydrogen and the LCVs, the, the vehicle, the fuel cell vehicle, as a solution, as a total solution for our customers. So it's easier to ad adopt the uh, hydrogen solutions and hydrogen uh, uh, fuel cells vehicles for our customers. So we take it, we take it from the infrastructure, the refueling stations, to the vehicles and the maintenance of the vehicle. So it's a whole, it's a circular economy. And this is what our customers are looking for right now in the hydrogen market. Great. So, you know, the world is becoming more environmentally conscious and First Hydrogen is very much in line with that narrative. Can you tell us more about the total addressable market and the true potential, you know, that First Hydrogen really has? Yeah. So so right now, the uh, the um, I would say the transportation market is split with the uh, BV, BEVs, which is the electric vehicles, uh, the battery electric vehicles. Uh, and the uh, hydrogen, I think we're complementary uh, into the fact that the uh, hydrogen is really for long haul transportation. And that's what we're working on right now at First Hydrogen. It is it, the commercial transportation. This is what hydrogen is better for, better suitable for. Uh, let, let's see. So we have a longer extended range uh, for our vehicles. Uh, which we're looking at 600 kilometers uh, per tank. So this is really interesting when you have a commercial vehicle, uh, parcel delivery, for instance, then you know you could actually uh, drive the distance. We have a quick refueling. So uh, that is also very interesting as far as a differentiator compared to the electric vehicles. Quick refueling of about five minutes to get a full tank. We also provide a climate resilience. Uh, solutions for especially for our Canadian conditions. We know that electric uh, vehicles under you know 10 minus 10 Celsius have a loss of autonomy. So we don't have this situation with the hydrogen. And also something we need to take into consideration when your commercial fleet operators in the parcel industry, delivery industry, is the cargo space. We are have a bigger cargo uh, space capacity. Uh, to store the parcels. So definitely there is some benefits of using the hydrogen uh, fuel cell zero emission vehicles compared to the electric vehicles. But overall, I think we need both solutions to tackle down the gas emissions. Definitely. So what sets First Hydrogen apart from its competitors in this sector? Well, there's not that many competitors so far uh, in the hydrogen uh, uh, sector. We're considered as being early adopters, innovators. Uh, so we are working very hard in developing the market, developing the solution uh, to make the adoption uh, for our customers and fleet operators. And this is what we're facing right now. There's a few companies that are more into the long haul. Nikolai, for instance, that are producing uh, class eight trucks uh, in the hydrogen, uh, fuel cell hydrogen. Uh, so basically, we're still kind of early adopters in our market, and this is a very 
tough position to be uh, because we are opening up, you know, uh, the market for other competitors to come later. So it's a good good position, but also very tough as far as go to market strategy. So why is now such a key time for investors to take a look at first hydrogen? Well, I think it's a the time right now is really good for hydrogen developing solutions, especially what's what's going on right now uh, around the world with the different you know wars that are um, affecting the uh, uh, fossil uh, uh, production of oil and 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 gas and and so forth. So I think looking at first hydrogen and the solutions we're providing to the market is uh, really key, and the, the trend is just going to pick up. And we have very, very, we're very confident in our market and our go-to-market strategy right now. And it's certainly picking up when we look at RRA in the States uh, with the investment that the Americans are are, are, are providing uh, for hydrogen, what they call the hydrogen hubs. This is really picking up. So I think we're in a very good position and uh, we are confident that our market will just keep growing. Yes, hopefully it should. So the company seems to have a highly experienced management team. Could you tell us a little bit more about your key team members, you know, and what they bring to the table? Well, the key team members are basically from the energy. Uh, some of our um, uh, CEO uh, of the division I was referring to and the energy is from uh, Ballard, uh, which is a, a, a fuel cell manufacturer based in Vancouver. So that is key to us as we're looking at hydrogen production. So we have key members. I think it was really important for First Hydrogen to get some of those key uh, 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 subject matter expert uh, in their different sector, but hydrogen uh, production uh, with the electrolyzers. So we do have the, the knowledge, uh, that the know-how uh, with some of the uh, our members, our, our uh, executives. And on the autom automotive side, we have, uh, sorry, automotive side, we have some uh, members or executives that are from the industry, uh, which were uh, in the big uh, companies, we were uh, taking care of the hydrogen sector. So we do have uh, team members, executives that are very knowledgeable of what the industry and the innovation should look like for the hydrogen industry. So where is the best place for investors and prospective shareholders to find out more information on the company? Where should they go? Well, I think they should go to our website, uh, firsthydrogen.com. Uh, visit there, you know, every... We're evolving really fast. So, and we're very, very good at uh, news release, announcing, you know, uh, what we're doing and what are the big innovation and, and news. So I think it's a, it's a good thing to go and visit us often to see what our the new uh, development of first hydrogen in the market. Thank you so much, Francois. It was a pleasure with all the information and on the new sector hydrogen. So I appreciate your time. I look forward to having you back on and best of luck with the company. That's what was my pleasure. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember departures capital is for information education and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.